I couldn't marry Mabel. You're gonna be happy with that, it's not them. But this is all gonna <laughs> put it to so many. <laughs> <laughs> From my up and coming mixtape, you can expect um, a lot of variation, a lot of different sides of Fecky. I'm a bit everywhere sometimes, you know what I mean? So, yeah, you're going to get all of Fecky on one project. When you're not working, what are you doing? Do you really want to know that? <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, when I'm not working, partying, spend a lot of time with my kids, got two boys, spend a lot of time with them. Yeah. Get up to a lot of stuff. Gym, I do gym as well. Describe your sound in three words. My sound in three words would be crazy, energetic, and fecky. What is the vision behind your self-directed video, All The Smoke? Um, I just wanted to just literally flex, just dance around. I had, um, I had the suit on with no top on. Wanted to show some muscles, you know what I mean? That's about it. What's been your best live performance experience? My best live performance experience would be... I've done so many. Um, maybe performing on the mobile walls on telly, that was good. Or this one might not count, but when Kanye brought us up on the stage at the Brits, that felt good. Because we weren't meant to be in there, we weren't meant to be there. So it felt good to kind of run through the back door and do that. So yeah, that was sick. Very sick. What's my dream collab? My dream collab is always 50 Cent. It's always been 50 Cent. Um, I just feel like he's had the same sort of journey as me. He reminds me of me. He's like my little brother, do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's like my dream collab. How was yourself um London upbringing influenced you and what has it taught you? Um, where I grew up, it's kind of taught me that you have to do for yourself and you always have to be like, it, it keeps your wits about you. So it's kind of influenced my music in a way of where I just be myself, I be as raw as I want and I just kind of say what I want. And yeah, you can kind of see that coming out of my music. Hype track, my favorite hype track would be Pow by Lethal B, or my song, Bubba Bang, by myself. Those two songs I can just literally just lose my mind to, just smash ever up to it, do you know what I mean? So those are my favorite songs. What are your 2019 goals? So my first one was to do the quick five and questions with Spindle. So I've done the first one, which is perfect. And my second one is to drop the greatest mixtape of the year, which I'm about to do, which with Fertile, so yeah. 2019, let's go. Tell us about Attitude. Um, attitude. Do you know, when I made that song, it was just more about of a feeling that I was having at the time. Um, I was with my little niece and she had like a little attitude. And then I went to the same night and I just thought, you know what, like, everyone seems to have some sort of attitude to something. So I just, yeah, dropped the song. Um, sick song, very sick, like, proper sick song. And yeah, good energy behind it. One food you can't live without. It's a hard one. What can't I live without? Crunching up cornflakes. Like, I need my crunching up cornflakes in the morning. So, yeah. Crunching up cornflakes, I can't live without that. What children's film scared you? Do you know what? Believe it or not, yeah, what the film that scared me when I was younger was Home Alone. Like, it used to make me be scared to be Home Alone. It's always like, if I hear things, I think someone's going to come shooting down the back or something. So if you could start a conspiracy theory, what would it be? My conspiracy theory would be every single artist that's charted top 20 in the last year is part of the Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? <laughs> what's, the, what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever worn? I don't do that. I, I don't wear nothing embarrassing. I'm like the best, the best dresser ever. I, can I cancel this question? I don't think this should apply to someone like me. Snog, Mary, Avoid, Alicia Dixon, Mabel, or Julia Smith. I would definitely avoid Alicia because that's like my sister. And I would snog Mabel's little cheeky kiss and I'd marry Georgia. How about that? Sounds right. Big sticky. <laughs> We're done. We're out. We're out of here. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I'm going to go meet Georgia. I just make some distance. Hey.